In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a rim light to your portrait images. Now, this can be portraits of animals, people. It doesn't really matter. It can even be still life products as well. But it just gives us a real nice separation from the background. So I'm going to walk you through the process. It's really quick. It's really easy. So let's get going. So the first thing we want to do is isolate the subject from the background. So if we come to the quick selection tool and then select subject. And then from here, we can continue to get a better selection. So we could, uh, for instance, here, just add in more of the legs of the horse. Then from there, we want to select and mask our subject. You can use the refine edge tool, which is the second brush down. You can just go over some of the hair there. You can see that's going to give us a little bit better selection. You can go around the edges. You can use the bracket keys as well just to make the brush a little bit smaller just so you get a better selection so take your time with that and it will give you a really really good result so if we look down here you can see i'm just getting all the hair that's coming on the nose and let's just come around the edges here the trick with this is is that it doesn't look right when you're doing it like this and if you can't see what I'm seeing here on this white background, come up to the top here where it says view and you can select whatever one is best for you. So once you've done that, then come down to the bottom and select output to new layer with layer mask and then press OK. So come to your layers here and if you can't see them, come to windows and come to layers and you'll see there's a little tick there. So it's now active. Click on the background just to bring it back. Now what we want to do here is we want to add in the effect of the rim light so come down to the bottom and let's select a new curves adjustment and let's come to about here around there push it up so that you're getting this light so we're, we're creating that big bright light that a, a rim light usually has so still on the curves we want to hold down control or command and then click on the new mask here that we've just created so that's the horse that we've we isolated a minute ago and then what we want to do is just add this curves effect to the horse we don't want it to the whole picture so what we want to do is fill that area with black so you need to make sure that your background color is black then what we want to do is press command delete or control and backspace if you're on a PC and then you'll see what's happened is we filled this curves adjustment here with black so it's just happening to the horse now what we need to do is come up to where the curves adjustment is and just click on this little chain here, this chain link, and that will separate it from the mask. So what we want to do now is press Control or Command D just to deselect that selection. Make sure you're on the Move tool and then you can either use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard or you can use your mouse or Wacom tablet just to move this around. So what we're going to do is just bring this down a little bit so I'm looking at the ears but I'm mainly looking at the side of the horse there and I just want to get a nice rim effect on the side there so once you're happy with the placement you can then go and do the other side of the image so to do that you would come up to the rectangular marquee tool and just draw over the area and then again go to the move tool and then you can move this left and right now I'm not going to do it on this because it wouldn't this wouldn't naturally have light coming from this side because the rim light would be coming from one side. So I'm going to press Control Command D. But if you do have a portrait, for instance, and you want to get the light on both sides, that is what you would do. So let's come to the Properties panel up here, click back on to the mask, and then we can push the feather up. So we can now start to soften this light. So there is always a tipping point. As you can see, if you keep going further and further, what you're going to be doing is bringing back that mask and actually adding light back into the image. Sometimes that can work, um, but what we're interested in is having that rim light. And rim lights are usually quite a hard light, like it is there. So around here, 3.9 pixels works for this image. Uh, you can still soften that more if you wanted to, just to blend it. Again, depending on the light source that you've got, for instance, if it's a honeycomb or a softbox, then it will give a different effect. So 6.8 would give a softer effect. And again, that does work really, really well. So once we're happy with that, we can still refine this a little bit more. Come to your brush tool, 
and then make sure white is set to your foreground color. Bring your opacity down to around between 20 and 30 or 40 percent and then using the brackets keys we can make the brush bigger or smaller. So we can now start painting in and bringing out this rim light effect a little bit more so we can just increase it and just pick up areas. So what's good about this is because we've masked out the horse is not going to affect the background. So that helps a lot. So we could actually push the opacity up and go over where the hair is here because this would naturally be probably two or three stops overexposed compared to the rest of the horse because it's coming in from the back. So there we go. So let's bring this opacity back down again. And we could add a little bit onto the ears here. Again, changing this opacity really help and give you a lot of control over this light. So I'm just more worried about this part here. This is the part that I want there. So you can also come down to the opacity here and then just bring that down a little bit if you want to as well. So let's add some more at the top here. There we go. That looks good. So if we now look at the before and after, if I come down to the history and just click on the little camera, you can see that, so that was the before and this is the after and you can see that just that right hand side of the horse there is 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 getting that rim light effect the actual ears if you look at the ears here they've brightened up a little bit but i've not overexposed that too much the reason why is because the where where that light source i've placed on this horse where it's coming from is coming from right to left so it's like the light is almost in front of the horse you can obviously change it so that the light is coming from behind and that's just a case of when you're on the layers panel here where the curve is the curve tool then it's just a case of moving that to wherever you want it to be okay and you do that within that stage when you're when you're deciding where to put that light source but it's a really really nice effect and it just gives you a little bit of separation there from the background again this can work on portraits it can work on products it works on pretty much everything the main part of this is when you are adding in this curve adjustment is just where you place it. So play around with different positions and you'll you'll get different lighting effects. I hope that's helped and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.